so hello everyone welcome to yourpedia education so in this video today i'm going to interact with mr venkat ramana who is recently selected for drdo as a scientist so this video is going to be quite informative and handful for all those hustler who are preparing for competitive exam and they want to be the part of prestigious research organization like isro drdo and bark so in this video mr venkata ramana will be sharing his journey from where he started you know when he started the preparation and currently what he was doing prior to get selected in drdo so venkata first of all congratulation for your success in drdo finally you are a part of prestigious research organization of our country drdo thank you sir uh, okay so before starting could you please introduce yourself to our audience yes sir So myself, I am Venkat Ramana sir. I am from Andhra Pradesh, and I graduated uh, from Electronics and Communication Engineering sir in 2015. Great. Uh, and then uh, uh, I started uh, preparation for GATE sir uh, from 2015, and initially uh, from uh, for two years I didn't qualify. Okay. I didn't even qualify for two years. Oh. Uh, but I, I didn't uh, drop there. But uh, as mm, You mean to say uh, from 2015 to 2017 you were 17. preparing for GATE, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And then I got some three uh, thousand rand, but it was not useful for me uh, okay. to join any job uh, to get any job. Uh, in 2018, I got uh, 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 a, a small job in central government. Sir. It's okay. a postal postal department. Oh, a small job. Okay. And then. Uh, in 2000 uh, uh, i uh, i used to do that job and uh, uh, i was preparing i, I was preparing uh, for gate again okay. uh, um, so uh, while what doing was the that motivation job. for gate preparation time and again instead of getting that much failure uh, what was that thing which motivated you i actually i wanted to prepare uh, i wanted to get a job in psc Okay, so your ultimate PSU. goal was to write gate exam only for psu job not PSU. for mtech right not for mtech sir at that time okay but uh, in 2020 i think uh, in 2020 i got 500 ranks okay great uh, uh, in ac and then i joined in uh, i joined, uh, uh, at that time also i didn't get any job through uh, gate uh, 2020 okay um, i i joined in iit madras sir in communication signal processing okay um, in between i got a job in polytechnic lectures So that was a government job again, right? Yes, sir. Again, government job. Okay, fine. Now, now I'm doing uh, uh, this polytechnic. Okay, lecture. currently you're working as a polytechnic lecturer, right? Yes, yes, yes. So sir. in between, you got this opportunity to appear for DRDO, right? Yes, sir. So this was your And first attempt in the DRDO. Yes, sir. It was my uh, first attempt. Okay, so I guess for electrical also the initial screening was through gate only, right? Yes, sir. Then they took the written exam or not? Oh I, yes, sir. I have taken the written exam also. Okay. Then finally the interview, right? Finally the interview. Yes. So can you tell the audience basically what is the structure of that written exam which they conduct and what is the syllabus and how one can prepare for that? Uh, the syllabus will be like as it is uh, as like the uh, ESC syllabus, sir. Okay. But the level of the questions are a little less. Okay. When compared to uh, um, ESC. So uh, the difficulty level is little less. Right, 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 right. Okay, so have you prepared additionally, or your gate preparation only help you to crack the written mm -hmm. test? No, sir. Only gate preparation. Uh, okay. I didn't prepare for ESC, so I I attempted only the questions related to gate on. Okay, where your final interview was conducted in Delhi? Yes, sir, in Delhi. Okay, can you tell me how many people were there in the panel, and uh, for how much duration your interview last, and what kind of question they ask? uh in the panel uh, five members are there sir okay uh, uh the questions yeah what kind of question they ask and what, what topic questions? they focus okay. more so they first they ask me about my uh, um, current job okay and then they ask me about why uh, um, why you are leaving this job uh, like that those questions so there and then they started to ask me about bjt Okay. Uh, Didn't they BJT, ask you that what are the right. area in which you are comfortable, or they start asking randomly? Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, first they asked me 
uh, about uh, what what the, what are the subject you are teaching now so because i am teaching now so what are the subject that you are teaching now? then i i started telling that uh, edc and uh, digital weapons so i started to telling that uh, the subjects but in between they struck me and asked me about edc edc okay. part they took Great. the edc part and asked me about bjt okay uh um, they asked me the simple questions why the name emitter and base and collector okay. even though they are semiconductors okay all are the same semiconductors so why the name they gave? like that so they uh, slowly entered into the uh, uh, entire physics of the bjt so they start from the very basic and entered into the depth very of the device physics depth right of the yes sir yes. okay what kind of question they ask in the depth can you tell in more detail yes sir in bjt they asked me about um uh, uh why um, how do you identify the terminals okay um i don't know exactly i didn't answer that but i i told them so that if, if it is a power transistor there will be a, a silver coating will be there okay but i how to identify terminals uh, I, we have to know the that it is highly doped the another one is lightly doped so right the, uh, uh, those uh, that is the only question asked in that uh, in that uh, bjt and then he jumped into another subject like uh, uh, after that he asked me about what is your favorite subject okay and then i told him emtl okay then he started asking me that uh, uh, write down all maxwell equations okay uh, while writing the maxwell equations the first maxwell equation del dot d bar equal to like that and then he started asking me uh, um, he he gave me the one example of electric flux density and then he he trying me to solve delta okay. d bar d bar is given and then okay. he, he asked me the divergence and then okay. he asked me again der- derive from that uh, charge density i again asked me to derive that expression d bar okay. expression okay and i asked the i asked him the questions like uh, what kind of surface it was like uh, um, he he told me take one uh, uh, a spherical surface okay you mean to say if you were not able to get uh, the clue what actually is trying to ask you did the cross questioning to the panel that yes, what sir. kind of surface i can take right yeah uh, yes sir yes sir Okay, so tell me, Mr. Venkata, what, according to you, believe that is the basically X factor because of which you got the final selection? Is there any kind of observation you have done about your interview performance? Um, interview. Uh, I actually answered almost all the questions, sir. Okay. I think I. Uh, I mean, at least eighty percent of the questions I, I have answered. Okay. And. Uh, they are checking the uh, how we are going to solve the problem okay uh, the, you mean the to procedure. say the focus is on your process and approach right instead process of the approach. final answer and, right uh, yes yes they continuously giving me hints sir. okay so, so they first asked me the uh, basic question and then they started to ask me the in depth questions okay. but uh, in between they used to give me hints if right. we don't catch that hint then they will jump to the uh, another question otherwise they keep on grilling on the same concept until the time they are not satisfied right yes sir yes okay so tell me they ask you question from edc emtl any other subject they ask or they focused uh, and communication in communication okay and communication, communication which part analog communication digital communication analog communication Okay, great. So, in that question, was basic or bit depth question? Basic question only, sir. Uh, okay. He asked me to uh, to draw sine omega t graph. Okay. And then in that graph only, you have to draw sine omega t square. Okay. So for that, I did. Uh, I actually did the answer correctly. I tried to find out the zero crossovers. Okay. Omega t square equal to n pi like that. I, I tried, but he gave me hint. Uh, uh, try to find out the instantaneous frequency. Okay, fine. So, uh, yes, sir. and then um, uh, he, he asked me to draw the instantaneous frequency versus time graph. Okay. And the where the uh, instantaneous frequency and the actual frequency of the signal meet, like that, okay. the graph. Great. Yes. That was a nice question, actually. Yes, sir. Okay, so you mean to say they ask communication EMTL and EDC, right? Yes, sir. 
ओके सी मेनी टाइम वी सी स्टूडेंट हैव फियर रिलेटेड टू इंटरव्यू ऑफ डीआरडीओ पार्क एंड इसरो सो यू हैव करेक्ट द इंटरव्यू ऑफ डीआरडीओ व्हाट पीस ऑफ एडवाइस यू वुड लाइक टू गिव टू द ऑडियंस हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ इंटरव्यू व्हाट शुड बी देयर फोकस हाउ दे कैन प्रिपेयर दे डोंट नीड टू फोकस ऑन एडवांस थिंग्स दे दे मस्ट हैव Uh, fundamentals perfect right your fundamental is the very first thing right you must have clarity yes. in that only then you will be in the position to intercept what is what is being asked to you right yes sir yes sir okay and apart from this uh, but for me they ask me this kind of questions but for my friend so it depends on the position where you are working currently right right, right so right. he he is working in airport authority but they ask to him like Uh, most of the questions from satellite communication like that okay. so so where you are working first of all and then uh, there uh, which area it is related okay fine so venkata uh, for how much duration you believe this your entire interview went 1 hour 30 minute 30 minute one hour sir i think so Around were you satisfied hour. after the interview when you exit the interview room were you satisfied yes, that you have performed well yes sir uh, i satisfied because i have answered a lot of questions they asked me a lot of questions i answered them but okay. uh, at the end um, i could not able to answer them but i know that uh, they could consider me okay fine you were because positive have... and you were hopeful that okay i have performed i have given my best rest is yes. their part okay what kind of yes. observation they make about my candidate right Yes. So now, see, since you started your journey from 2015, and initially there was a period where you didn't were able to even qualify the gate exam, right? Then yes, you sir. got a very small job in the you know post category. Post -tech. Then yes. uh, you start with the uh, M Tech. Okay. Then you got a lecturer job, and even these kind of success, the small success which you got in the career later, what is that factor which keep you motivated? No, you need to write more. Most of the time, what I have seen. when student is preparing for competitive exam they leave the preparation after few failures right yes, yes, so they will leave they are not meant for this kind of exam what is your message to those student i actually did study anything in my btech sir okay. uh, uh, i used to play a lot of games so that's why i didn't care much about the studies okay. but after i actually started my preparation after my bit I, okay. uh, i immediately joined in the coaching center okay. i actually started at that time i know that it will take i, I already know that it will take around 4 years okay. i already know that because i it took it took two uh, it took one year to complete four subjects to study for me so i know that it it, it may be lag but I, i i i was very confident that i will get right 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 right, 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 right. so initially it was uh, very slow uh, my preparation was very slow okay. but it took uh, too much time sir, because uh, i didn't prepare much in my btech right 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 right, right. Yes. so ultimately conclusion is that see i also believe in the same theory you need to prepare according to your you know own understanding you know yourself better right how much yes. knowledge you have and what are your aspiration many time i have seen students start comparing that this person is getting success very immediately we are not getting so we are not meant for this kind of exam might be we are not capable so as you told clearly you were aware that it will take time because you don't have studied much during the btech so this kind of mindset if you have and you are ready to put effort in the right direction under the right mentorship i believe later or sooner you will definitely achieve the success which is the you know basically uh reflected in your case right so yes, you are confessing that you haven't studied anything during your bachelor so you yes, were aware but still you want to go for the government job you want to go for the psus that yes. is a basically you know dream you have so yes. you just configure your reference okay this is the level i have right now but i need to reach that level and you are aware that in that journey i will get many failure but you were yes. mentally prepared for that right okay yes yes so now i have i hope there is a you know sense of relief for you and your entire family now you yes, got sir. one yes, prestigious sir. position they might be happy right yes sir so venkata it was a nice interaction with you and you were truly you know uh what i can say you whatever you delivered here whatever you shared here that was truly from your heart right you didn't manipulate the things the like the way you have faced the things during your preparation you put those thing here in the same way and i believe when these kind of the stories come in front of the audience they feel motivated 
Is it clear? Yes, so yes, finally, sir. your PDA education wish you all the best for your coming journey. We wish you all the best and may you achieve many more big success than this, right? Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Venkata. Thank you. Thank you.